First Lego League is a program that inspires young African kids, kids all over the world, to think like scientists, to think like creators. They look at real life issues, things that affect them within their communities, and they look for solutions to them. It's really amazing what has been accomplished here today. And I was very thrilled seeing what our kids are able to do in the field of robotics. This competition is bringing out digital skills and is preparing these kids not only for the challenges of tomorrow, but also for the jobs of tomorrow. On getting here, I was marveled that we have younger ones involved with creative minds. They believe that they own tomorrow, and as such, they should start preparing on how to solve tomorrow's problem, thinking ahead, instead of waiting for things to be dropped on their laps and expect them to react. The number of kids that have come out from all over Nigeria has been amazing. We've had kids from Oweri with Jebu Mushin, we've had kids from Lagos, kids from Jalingo, from as far as away as Michika. The level of what we are seeing, what they've done here today, and what we saw on Tuesday, it showed that we expect a big bank in Nigeria, in the ICT sector, and it shows that Nigeria is ready to take that leadership position when it comes to ICT in Africa and the world. The children are interested it's because the program is exciting, interesting, and very educative, informative. It has enabled the children to think critically. All the projects they brought forward this year for City Shaper, the children have been able to develop smart cities, problem of water, how we can solve congestion in the city. Whilst I've gone around, I've seen so many different projects from children from different age groups. Also, another thing I'm actually quite encouraged about is the amount of females and young girls here as well. And we always think robotics or technology is a male-dominated domain. We were one of the teams, Team Metro 101, that came down from Akwaibum to Abuja for the first LEGO League competition. So all the girls out there, who believe that robotics, coding, and all of those stuff is meant for only boys, that a girl's place is in the kitchen. I want to tell you that that is not true because I come from an all-girls school. We came first amongst all the boys. We, that we are all girls, we came out and we came tops. I feel, you know, very, very delighted because I can see that we are actually making a difference. Seeing all these girls today coming up with so many interesting, you know, robotics projects is actually very overwhelming, but I'm very happy to see that there are a lot of girls that are getting involved in STEM activities. For Kuderina, First Lego League being one of our products is one of the things that we try to do to get the African kids empowered in the area of technology. We personally believe that Africans, especially Nigerians, have the best brains and we want to channel the kids to use their brains positively. The private schools is all good. I mean, the parents can afford to buy those things, can afford to pay for teachers to teach them those things. But those public schools, they are the greater majority. They are the ones we cannot afford to be left behind. And those are the ones that we are after. Those are the ones we need to encourage. Those are the ones we need to support. Those are the ones that need that ray of hope that they can achieve as well. Big thank you and appreciation to Corenina, Future Proof, Streams, and every other person involved in the success of this great event. Thank you, Corenina, my